but we are against those thugs, thugs. Yo, 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 this is your boy Bronze, and you're listening to the Toy Thug Show. I got my co-host with me, KP. Yo, yo. Trey Miles. Yes, sir. The thug is rough as Toy Thug Show. Toy Thug Show. You are listening to Toy Thug. Check us out at toythug.com where we have all the pop culture goodies, toy collectibles, and check us out on our podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. This is episode 26. Any number for that, Gray Miles? I don't have any athletes. No, okay. 26. Yeah, that's, uh, 26. That's an odd number. There's no it is, yeah. Really There's nothing really iconic from with the number 26. Yeah. What was that one movie where, I think that was Jim Carrey or something. It was kind of like a thriller, like he's just writing numbers. It reminds me of your number. Your numbers. Yeah, forty-five. Forty-five. Yeah, that's my number. I don't know why. We're, we're gonna make a big event. That was my pager code. That's why. Back oh, okay. But then, it, I was, <laughs> yeah. But then I would always see that number <laughs> everywhere. You remember pager codes? Yeah, like, yeah I know. Well, mine yeah, was three sixty. Yeah, that's why I started laughing. I was like, damn, that's super old, dude. <laughs> what about you, Gray? What was your pager code? Like when when somebody 11, you pay somebody eleven. Dude, yeah. eleven, dude. That's why you need to watch Stranger Things, man. Yeah. Well, I took like <laughs> I, took, I, I took Chris K R I S in my last. Oh, so that's okay. kind of how I came up with it. Right. But then, but it, it's weird. Like I see the number everywhere. Like, and you know, there's a lot of uh, I've been reading because well, Jordan wore the four or five. Yeah, forty five. And back, so. it's funny. Joanne's number is twenty three, and I'm forty five. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like on Valentine's Day, she should rock a a, a Jordan twenty three, twenty three, forty five, forty five. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it's funny. Like, yeah, that number's I don't know significant. Yeah, I don't man. Know what it is, so. Cool, cool. All right, man. So uh, today we're gonna cover some movies: uh, Ragnarok, Star Wars, um, Miscellaneous. We were kind of talking about earlier before the recording. Um, the iPhone eight. We're gonna cover uh, sneakers, and after that. I'm going to talk about video games, NES Classic Returns, and a little bit of TV. I'm going to talk just a little bit about Game of Thrones and a little bit of toys. So, yeah. yeah we, this is the Toy Thug show, so yeah, we'll have some, right? some toy news this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay, let's start with the toys. Luke, help me take this mask off. But you'll die. Nothing. Can stop that now. All right. So the Star Wars reveals. Yeah. So before uh, Force Friday, I guess last Thursday, they had like a bunch of reveals on Hasbro. Yes. People, people were freaking out because they thought all that was coming out on Force Friday, but it turns out like they spaced out the releases, so kind of saved your wallets on that one. But yeah, there's a ton of like Black Series stuff coming out. A lot of uh, pops coming out, of course. They, they basically, just reveal like a ton of new stuff that coming up. I guess between now and the movie, I guess. What do you think about that? Is that pretty smart? Uh, what they're doing, spreading it out instead of just releasing it on one day? I would say so, man. I mean, I guess it, it would have been cool. I guess if they released it all on the same day, but I mean, very few could have copped it all. So. Right. It kind of like um, defeats the 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 name Force Friday. Like, yeah, they really like a, well, little force Friday. It, it was kind of hard because here in Houston, it more or less got canceled because yeah. of the hurricane. But I heard a lot of places like not, you know, affected by the hurricane had no product on the floor, like just nothing. Oh so, man, I'm not sure what happened with that. But yeah. yeah, maybe they're not pushing it as hard as far as the marketing for it, right? Like, I remember last year or last uh, Star Wars. Remember, like how crazy it was as far as like you saw Star Wars everywhere. Like the you know the months leading up to to the movie, like yeah. you saw it like I don't know commercials like, like it was just like more like maybe closer towards the holiday. Maybe it's because of the first one, you know, since uh, you know just the, to pop it off. Yeah, yeah. What, what, Great miles. What do you think? Do do you see a difference? Um, you know, with with the market. Well, I mean, compared to last year or do you Target point? Target had like a whole section just for Star Wars, so. Yeah, and they had like you know the advertisements like the week before. They had all that, but yeah, I'm not sure why the product didn't follow. Because I I kept hearing like Mad Toys R Us had like nothing to put out on Friday, and like wow. even a couple WalMarts here in the area have put out nothing at all. Like to this day, like it's been two weeks later and still nothing. So I'm not sure why that is. I'm really not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure the hurricane had something to do with that, but 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure like if it's like a marketing thing, they just haven't pushed it as hard. I don't know. But I think they're probably Yeah, it like definitely seems like it's not as hype. Not as hype as last time. We'll see come season. November. Yeah. Because November that's when yeah, I think they really yeah. ramp it up, you know. Right. Yeah. Plus, you know, Christmas tours and stuff like that. So. Yeah, they got to. We'll see. We'll see. Um, New York uh, Comic Con pops. Man, there's there's some good ones here. There's a lot of good pops, man. A lot of good pops. Uh, when is when is it again? On October? Uh, October fifth. Okay. Wow. Man, we are pretty much in the mid, almost mid September. This is uh, yeah, man, it's going September fast. Too. Going up quick. And super quick. Yeah. So we got Dragon uh, Dragon Zord. What is that yeah, from? Is that from a, Power Rangers? Power Rangers. That's like the the dragon guy. Like you know the Green Rangers. His his Megazord is a dragon. Oh, okay. So it's going to be the Dragon Zord. It's going to be six inch. Now they haven't said who it's sh- uh, shared with yet, but pretty sure it's going to be shared. Right. Mo- most of them are. And they're coming out with a flock beast man from He Man. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, man, that's, that's going to be so high. Yeah, dude. That's which one's Beast Man again? I can't, I can't. He's like that orange. He's the orange furry. guy, the orange dude, oh, like furry. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, he's, okay, okay. He's, yeah, he's the Beast Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was never really into uh, He Man. I mean, I kind of collected it a little bit, you know, because like with Star Wars and Transformers, GI Joe kind of overshadowed it. But yeah. there was that market. And uh, oh yeah, man, I had Mad He Man, dude. Oh, did you? I had a lot of He Man. Yeah, yeah. My, my favorite was Trap Jaw. Trap, I yeah. like the, I like the Faker, I like the Blue He Man. I'm not sure why, but oh, I, I like, like Ram Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the oh, toy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, didn't we have this conversation? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, think I guess uh, He yeah. Man touched our hearts because we keep, we keep bringing it back. Yeah. You ever try to watch it on Netflix? No. It's so no. whack, man. Oh yeah. It's so remember whack. that you said that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So whack. Yeah, it's like, so, super watching cheesy. it now, I was like, oh. Thing. My, my homie was is proud because like he had Castle Grayskull and his little brother had Castle Grayskull and he would always like now and then would bring it up like yo man when I was growing up he had two Castle Grayskulls <laughs> like randomly and you <laughs> just like, look at him he's like mad like proud. okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like twice as hype man uh, Mortal Kombat pops are coming out yeah they Dude, like I, they just revealed these like yesterday you know yes. here uh, I. Man, something tells me that this is going to be more popular than the Street Fighter Pops. Possibly. There's going to be a, a six-inch Goro. Yeah. There's going to be a, a Chase Sub-Zero. A See, just Camp. because that alone. Raiden. Are these the original um, the original costumes and characters? They look a little newer. They, like look, the, they look more modern uh-huh, to me, yeah. like the costume, but... It's like the big people, like Sub Zero, Scorpion, Liu Kang, Raiden, yeah, and uh, Katana. Johnny Cage. Yeah, no Johnny Cage. This what? Time. Johnny Cage is no, my, no, no. my homie, man. <laughs> yeah. They'll probably come out later. They're, I'm sure they'll have a yeah, way too have Johnny, Johnny Cage testing out the waters. Yeah, and then um, what do you call it? Um, I was gonna say Rick Ross, Bob Ross. <laughs> There's more Bob Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up more oh. Bob Ross oh. Pop. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh. And it was disappointing, right? Because none of them are Flock Froze. I know, right? I was like, surely, because I, I thought there's a chase now. Like, okay, surely the chase Flock Fro. Yeah. No. No such luck. And I couldn't that believe gave, like, gives come me on, a great man. idea for for a design. Okay. We write that down. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. Oh. Man, so it has kind of just happened, and uh, yeah, man. For those so of, many don't reveals. you know, um, what, what is Hascon? Uh, it's basically Hasbro's convention, more or less. Like they had like a lot of toy reveals. Yeah, I heard about a that. lot of like guest stars at this thing. I'm not sure where it was. It was in New Jersey, I believe. New Jersey. It was the uh, last weekend, right? Yeah. 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 So a lot the, of reviews. A lot, lot of it. the bigger cons or uh, companies are they're, are doing their own cons. They're now, starting right? to. Yeah, I heard uh, GameStop did their own con. No way. Yeah, like they what? Had, um, they had like some uh, 2K thing on it. Wow. Yeah. So that's crazy. Imagine we got Walgreens con versus CBS <laughs> con. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we're gonna have McDonald's con. Oh man. Shout out our new uh, French fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like everybody having cons. I know. Con. We're about to have a con though. Yeah. Toy Thug Con. For real. <laughs> no, actually, 
It could happen. Yeah. It will. It will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything um, that stood out to you uh, that that came out of uh, Hascon? A lot of Marvel Legends, man. Like, they're going to make uh, a Mohawk Storm. They're bringing back the Mohawk oh. Storm. That got me super hyped, dude. Dude, that's what I want. Yeah, this will bring it back Mohawk Storm. There's going to be like a new Wolverine. Uh, there's going to be a Thanos, an Apocalypse. I mean, there were so many like, oh my wow. gosh, type of reveals at this wow. thing. Yeah. They're starting to catch up now. I mean, their their action figure, their, their quality is just... Oh, yeah, for sure. Better, man. Yeah, for Thanos sure. Stepping up now. They got to, man, because Funko, they have to compete. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like a different style. Than what they do is, but everybody is getting better, you know. Like SH Figure Arts is yeah. getting better, you know. Like they have to, you know, keep up. S- speaking That's of good. figure arts, doing a giveaway, figure arts giveaway. Yes. If for um, we are doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. Once we get to that 200 mark, we will also oh, you, you change the giveaway. It? Yes. Well, that's okay. that's what it was uh, in in the rules. Oh, okay. Um, I You're, thought it was something else. Yeah, the giveaway is going to be the SH Figure Arts uh, Dark Knight Batman. And the rules right. are you got to subscribe to it and you got to leave a review. And once we hit that review mark, that's uh, we're going to do the giveaway. Make sure when you leave, um, do the review, you're going to put your IG username or IG handle name. And then uh, we'll do that. And so good luck, guys. So check it out. Be sure to subscribe and leave a review. That's all we ask. And you can win this uh SH Figure Arts, uh, it's retail for like uh, 50 bucks, so. Huh. All right, so on to the movies. I have, there's another Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok trailer. Yeah, I didn't even watch it. I saw it on Instagram. So. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even watch the whole, <laughs> wait, wait. I didn't watch the whole thing. Dude, I, I didn't see it either, man, because I, I had an I'm I'm good. Out. I'm I don't just need ready anymore. for the movie now. Yeah, yeah I, got um, I don't need seriously. to know anymore. Yeah, just let it, let it be November already, and I'm, yeah. I'm good. What I heard though, um, and I don't know if it's going to be related to the trailer, was the reason why Thor wasn't in Civil War was because he was out searching for Thanos, and I, I don't oh, know if that's okay. going to be part of the trailer. Man, huh. interesting. That's dope, right? Yeah. So yeah. why was uh, where was Hulk? He was with um, Thor. Yeah, I don't know. Where did, where, where did Hulk go? He like took off in that plane and never came back. He just like took off. Well, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. It was on uh, Avengers Two. Avenger End of Ultron. He like was in that oh. jet plane and he just left. Damn, I forgot already about that part. Yeah. <laughs> what did they make him go? I, that's dang. not nah, because like Black Widow was trying to calm him down, right? So he could come back. And then he turned off the screen and just like. Went on his oh, merry took way. Off. Oh, okay. But he just kept going, so you don't even know where he's at. So, oh, well, now you do, but you didn't know where he was <laughs> going at the time. Right. I remember, like four years ago, they, they were saying there's rumors there's going to be a Planet Rock or Planet Rock, Planet Hulk. Bombada. Planet Rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Planet Hulk. Oh like, God, movie. that's too much, right there, man. They're not gonna. Do I that. heard there there can't be a Hulk movie because of licensing. Oh, with Fox, it, it belongs to Universal. It doesn't Universal. even belong to Marvel. So that's why, like, if you see Hulk, he's got to be like with other people. Yeah, like, like Thor or the Avengers. You can't have like a standalone Hulk movie. Oh, so that's oh why. I didn't know that. I thought it was maybe yeah. That's what the the actor. But that's what like the, why why is the Hulk in part of uh, Marvel Studios? Because well, he, he can be with, like other characters, but he can't be by himself. Okay, so it's kind of be a, like a so he can deal with uh, Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, so he can be like with Avengers and Thor, but he can't be like all by himself. By himself, okay. That, that's what I heard. And okay, uh, segue to that. Uh, there is news. I don't know. It's not official yet, but you know, Stanley was at the uh, Nashville Comic Con this week. He's saying that Marvel Studios is working with Fox to bring X Men and Fantastic Four back to uh, Marvel Studios. Ooh, man, that would be hype, dude. They need to do that. Man. That <laughs> Fantastic Four, at least, for sure, because yeah. those movies are terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. X-Men, come on, man. You know, for it to really happen, I, I, you know, it's kind of bad for me to think, but 
to be like his uh, Stanley's uh, last wish or that that wish. Like, yo, man, you need <laughs> to bring X Men to Marvel Studios now, where they belongs. <laughs> yeah, maybe like after you know, you know, Wolverine. You know, because uh, yeah, he's already well, he's already dead. So would they do another reboot? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, possibly. All right. Yeah. They have to reboot Wolverine again, right? right. Yeah, but the, the only sensible reboot would be to reboot it in the MCU, right? Yes, that'd be the perfect. Yeah, I mean, that would be segue. high, dude. That'd be cool. But they're they're not MCU necessarily. Wolverine. Yeah, but what they're saying, I mean, Fox is not gonna like let go of the franchise anytime soon. They're just probably gonna partner up, partner up similar to Sony, because I mean, they have great success with Deadpool and uh, Logan. But that's so, it. I mean, Logan is done. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, they're banking on Deadpool now. Deadpool, right? Yeah. So it's interesting, but man, this is they got me hyped. But I, I know I shouldn't get overly hyped until it's like official, right? So, but I got excited though when I first heard about Sony, you know, a deal with Disney or Marvel Studios. So, you know. I mean, fan- Fantastic Four for sure has to come over because, I mean, the movies are so bad, so they have, they have to redeem it somehow. I'd be hyped though if they did it. They had one of my favorite characters on, on uh, one of the Fantastic, the Silver Surfer. Wow! Yeah, man, man. Was, Silver yeah, Surfer. He was dope, dope man. He was one of my favorite comic book uh, characters. Yeah. And Marvel would make him really dope. Yeah, dude. Imagine him fighting Thanos. Oh, like, he comes out of nowhere. Oh, man, just that'd be hype, dude. On his surfboard, cosmic surfboard. Surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, but okay. Uh, moving along. Okay, uh, Star Wars. This is crazy, the man. The previous director of Episode Nine was the guy who did a Jurassic World, and yeah, they more or less got rid of him because supposedly I heard he, his head got too big. They're like, nope, did can't it? have that. Yeah, that's what I heard. He got yeah. too full of himself after like Jurassic World blew up. So like, nah, you gotta go, bro. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's 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 the rumor going around. That. So he was gonna do the uh, the third one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he um, get into it with Steven Spielberg like on the red carpet? Uh, the director of uh, Jurassic World. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, that's on video. I like, heard. Steven Spielberg, like he uh, he burned him basically. I forgot what he said, but he he said something, and it, you know it was like one of those burn moments. Wow. <laughs> so but man, so J.J. Abrams is back. Yeah. Yeah. So they brought He's him back to do it, writing and directing. Yes, sir. And that's a tall order. Yeah. So well, what do you guys feel about that? I mean, he did a I great mean, job with the, with, yeah, with the first one. So pulled it off with Force Awakens. So I don't see why he wouldn't do it again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Man, I can't wait, man. This is yeah, this is good news because we know what he can do. Yeah, they wound up pushing it back though. It was supposed to come out in May, but now it's coming out December. So. December, that's cool. It's might as well. Yeah, the other ones have been December, so what's yeah, what's another six months? Right. Yeah. Something to look forward to besides spending money. Yeah, exactly. Because it could be, you know, <laughs> there's so many. It's, I think I, I like the way, because, yeah, I mean, before it's been May in the previous trilogies, right? So this is a kind of a good. I like going to, uh, like, it has that good vibe during the holidays. Yeah. Watch the Star Wars. Let's keep it going to, in December, man. So. Now recognizes you, even in the dark, and will adapt to your physical change. My phone recognizes me. It's an iPhone 10. I thought we were on eight. An iPhone eight is coming out. It has a glass back. What what what's on this thing? It uh, has the iPhone eight. eight really has no real upgrade other than the faster processor and the glass back. But the real upgrade is the iPhone ten. And yeah. that's what it's the real upgrade. Because they, they yeah. took out the home button. There's that facial recognition thing on there. And they they the O <laughs> If he's uh, waving his uh, <laughs> Galaxy, so everything this phone has, the iPhone 10 has, but for a thousand dollars, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, I think that's all I'm saying. You know, it's not going to be a thousand dollars if you sign up for a plan or renew, right? Oh, or mean, upgrade. I mean, it's going to be more than that because <laughs> of the interest. <laughs> well, they, they don't. They they still they still do that. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. You'll yeah, probably because no AT and T does do it. AT and T doesn't do it anymore. Like they they do like a payment plan. Yeah, they do. Yeah, a that's plan. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably put it. On, okay, well, you know, it, pay installment. Plan. Yeah, how much that's, would that be then for your phone? Like five hundred dollars for like a single plan. <laughs> single plan. <laughs> yeah, probably about <laughs> your service plus three hundred dollars a month around there, something like that. Dang, I, I pay two hundred dollars 
um, Verizon. I know it's a little bit a lot. I mean, but it's, it's car a sh- note. It's sharing, it's sharing like with my fam. And yeah. It's unlimited. Yeah, I remember he's like telling my you know my family like, "Yo, watchers, if you see a Wi-Fi, get on that Wi-Fi, man. <laughs> Don't be using. It. We're about to cap. But now that you know, I just got on that unlimited. Yeah. So what do you think? Like, are you are you gonna get the iPhone 10? Um, I usually no, skip a, no. a year. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I I, I usually like I skip every other year. Wait for them foldable like, phones, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, what is up with that? <laughs> like I'm Samsung. saying, like I I drop my phone way too much, and like the glass back, I'm just gonna break it. So like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. At least not right now. But that's why you get a phone case. Yeah, case king. See through. True. Yeah. Case King. I, I have, a, have a, a Case King case on this right now. Oh, there oh you go. word! Oh shit! Yeah, oh, there that you is go. pretty dope. Shout out that, to that was, that was a one off. <laughs> we, we, we have a couple of <laughs> <there. laughs> at the rareness. Yeah. All right, moving on to sneakers. Yeezys coming out in November and December. Yeah, the, the first is going to be October, but they said no, so it's going to be November and then two in December. So. Which is which one is coming out in November? Uh, that the frost lemon or whatever, oh, that's that so yellow ugly, one. That's gonna, dude. <laughs> that's going to yeah. be the November one. The that December's can go with be- that Nas Yeezy. I mean, the Nas, the Nas, the Nas Supreme. <laughs> sure. By the way, that's worth like four hundred dollars. I didn't yeah, know dude. that. I think I should sell yours. Like, what do you think, man? I don't know, man. Like, I kind of feel good that I got it at retail. Yeah, so, like, I don't cool. want to let it go, but man, just maybe rock it. Such a come up, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you know, I don't know if I should. I mean, I don't think you're desperate to make you know some ends, oh, but no, yeah, but- that's a good. You can do a trade up yeah. or with with some, some fire kicks, you know. Yeah, man, because I didn't realize it was going for like four hundred bucks. Like, damn, the thing was like forty four dollars. So I might flip it. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking the best. It's in its plastic bag, so it's still like. Oh nice shoot! Food. Yeah, I mean, you can save it for springtime. You know, you don't have to wear it now because <laughs> we're starting to head into the autumn season. <laughs> can come fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. Tired of this summer hurricane stuff right this uh next year february 17th man this is what i'm winning for the black cement threes all-star weekend black man. cement threes with the nike air on the back yes i'm getting at least two pairs yes sir but it's gotta, gotta rock and stock those man yeah it's uh 200 bucks though man yeah they they raised the price <laughs> oh, shit. what'd you say for the the blues or the um the one I don't think it was 180. It was, oh, okay. It was 100 something, wasn't it? The Royals? The Royals, like 150, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say, 150. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To me, that's uh, my favorite uh, release of 2017 for Jordan, or I mean, I think pretty much overall. Yeah, yeah, that's Jordan awesome. for me. Uh, the yeah. Royals. I think that's the best Jordan, you know, in this, this whole year. I, I, I can't think of anything else that would trump that. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys oh. with me? No. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think like yeah. no. And then uh, the shadows are coming out. That's what I'm hyped for too. The the gray ones. Yeah, the less. gray ones. Yeah, yeah those are coming out in April, right? That's crazy that they announced release dates like this far in advance. You know, what I'm saying it's they're still getting, September. Yeah, dude, they're getting it's like six, dude. seven, eight months in advance. Like, yeah, the resale whatever. market on Jordans is super slow now. So yeah, man, it's pretty much non-existent. But I still like them. Really? Yeah, it's non-existent. Like it's for for Jordans. Yeah, it's pretty much no resale value anymore. Wow, really? I like I like the new ones, but yeah, for the newer obviously ones. Obviously, the yeah. older ones still have some, but yeah. Yeah, like new new releases if they if they sell out at all, which most of them don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't sell for much over retail anymore. Wow, really? Yeah, about one out of ten. Like, say the shattered backboards if, if, is probably if, you know thought out. If too. that, if that even. Uh, I heard the fours, uh, the bread fours are coming are out. Coming out too. That's what I it's heard with the Nike check too. Oh, okay, so these three pairs, man. Yeah, they got a theme going need. on. It's like the the black. The black shoes are coming that's out. All, that's all you need right there. Yeah. Those three pairs, you're set. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're good. Mm-hmm. So let's see. That's two pairs for each. That's like <laughs> man, over $600. Damn, I'm going to save now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they announced it so early. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's probably what they're doing. <laughs> like, oh, man. 
I'll save them <laughs> on these releases. <laughs> Come out with some fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Man, okay, for video games, NES Classic returns in 2018. They're bringing it back. Yeah, I guess they heard all the crying about how they discontinued it, so they decided to bring it back for one more round in 2018. Well, that's good. I mean, but you know what? It doesn't make sense. If I had a Switch, I wouldn't even care for one of those because you can download those games on onto Switch? your Switch. Oh, really? I'm, I'm hoping they'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, Switch, man, this generation, man, they got a lot. Like, I think today they came out with uh, like their conference, the Nintendo Direct. A lot of good games are coming out, like Wolfenstein are coming out on the Switch. Dang. FPS. A lot of Bethesda games are coming out. It's, it's coming out, dude. That, that's a dope system. It's portable. Yeah. It looks dope. It's like, still selling out in stores. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they can't keep it in stock, from what I heard. And we gave one away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he texted me like uh, maybe like a couple months after we gave it away to him. He's like, man, I love this thing. We can't put it down. Me and my roommate fight over it all the time. <laughs> like, you lucky. I appreciate it. <laughs> you lucky. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, that's cool, man. So, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do something like that mm. in the near future. So, you know, stay tuned, people. Keep it locked. All right. So, um, also in video games is 2K is coming out. In a few hours after this, actually, this after this recording, KP, I'm gonna follow him because I just want to go with him <laughs> you to GameStop and <laughs> to you know just to pick it up. And, uh, maybe they might have like a poster or something because usually on some drops releases they got little uh, swag and goodies. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'm always excited for 2K. It's like a it's like a personal holiday for me. Yeah, <laughs> like as long as I could remember when I had a real day job, like I always took that day off. <laughs> but my uh, my coworker started catching on. It was like, oh, two K's coming out, huh? <laughs> like, it, well, it's like a random day in October, November. It used to come out in November, I think, a couple years ago. But um, yeah, like they would like uh, you know, they would like dog on me. I was like, well, whatever. I got vacation day. I could choose what I wanted to. Dang. <laughs> All right. So after when you when you start playing, what what is the first thing first thing you're gonna do? Play online. Play Dang, somebody like that because usually what I do is like when the demo comes out, like I'll you learn. Get, you, I'll learn okay. the the timing because the timing always changes every year, and I'll learn the timing. I'll learn the ISO moves, and then you know, and then just kind of like get the feel for the game, and then I'll start collecting W's and learn on the way, <laughs> do all the new stuff, and then. Dang, that's smart. But you know, it's like people are are a lot better now. There's a lot right. you know better player like players so on release day there's always like people that are already yeah. you know veterans and it's a tough match there's so many YouTubers about NBA 2K mm-hmm. it's crazy like everybody wants to be like the next uh, like one of Chris those Move. Chris Move. he was the first one I remember yeah, yeah. They, they all give props to him mm-hmm. uh, and uh, was that Fredo pretty boy Fredo yeah something? yeah he's a yeah he's a big one yeah he yells there's a bunch of just a bunch of yellers yeah like if you want to get popular on YouTube just like yell one of my favorite ones right now like uh shout out to Sam Pham that boy he, he's like Sam Pham Fisco <laughs> yes he's a uh, he's a Vietnamese dude I mean he, he plays uh, most he plays mostly online he basically teaches you basketball strategy yeah, in the game, like he told me about that. I remember, yes, I he teaches that. you like you know strategy how to beat people as far as like um, you know going head to head, and he does a little bit of uh, my player because most of the people that are, are YouTubing do the my player thing, right? But he's one of the the few ones that really go in on the head to head aspect of the game. To me, man, uh, the reason I love 2K is because it's basketball. It's like straight up basketball you have to know basketball to be good at this game you know he goes in on like the strategy it's like, it's like did you like, see this that clip that alex put in today in the message yes <laughs> is that 2k18 no that is not 2k18 okay. that was nba live nba live dude thank <laughs> god dude yes. because i was like what the it was like I'm isaiah saying? thomas going head to head with brooke lopez and brooke lopez yeah. jumped like 13 dude. feet in the air and then Isaiah and then, Thomas blocked him. <laughs> his, did you see his arm and started stretching like, yeah, oh, dude. Mr. Fantastic? I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, that's why. Like, all the years um, I've been playing 2K. Because I've been playing 2K since 2K. Since yeah. 2000. 
you know, like, years. like oh, this game started a lot of things for me, you know, started getting me in the basketball, like in real life. And, you know, a bunch of started a domino effect, a bunch of different things. But I've always gotten always like gave live a chance. But then after a while, I just like, man, forget this. <laughs> like Live is yeah. like they're never going to catch up, man, because 2, 2K is so ahead of its game. They're always trying to make the game better, you yep. know, always progressing. That's what they get. That's what they get when they did um, uh, 2K wrong on the NFL license, man. Yes, so, yes. That's what you get. Yeah, that's what you get, man. You can't you can't catch up on that, you know, yeah. like, but that was smart, though, on their part from a business standpoint, because basically they bought out for the people that don't know. Um, EA bought out the NFL license, so they have exclusive rights to to. Uh, they're the only ones that could put out an NFL like simulation game. And at that time, like in two thousand, when was that? Five two thousand five. Like two K, like put out uh, ESPN um, football, and they sold they they advertised it for you know for twenty bucks twenty bucks for dude. twenty bucks. So it got a whole bunch of people like off Madden and like, you know, buying the game and they started getting more of the market share. Right. Like the next year, people like were more like started closing the gap. And then, you know, that's <laughs> when they put, yeah. EA put the lockdown. Yeah. EA like use their, use their money basically to, to lock in a license for, I don't know if yeah. it ever ends. Right. So. And thank God that NBA is not, yeah. not locking it down. With yeah. Because NBA. they don't need to, because they, they let, they let the you know innovation speak for itself. You know right. what I'm saying? They didn't like you know you know use their money to you know stop or basically create a monopoly within the industry. You know, right? So shout out to 2K, man. Yeah, man. I want to work with them somehow, yeah. some way, one day. Yeah, I have a feeling we will. Soon. We will. So check it out. Yeah. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. I will never forget them. All right, so uh, uh, moving on to TV. Well, it's moving on to Game of Thrones because that's the only topic. <laughs> um, so there, there is a thing that's coming out. Um, there is a way that they're gonna uh, kind of prevent leaks. That's what they're, they're from from this article. Film, film multiple endings. Yes, that's pretty. That's, um, that's interesting, smart dude. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah, like, it's a lot of money, one? I'm sure. Yeah. But that's you know that's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. So um, I don't know. Have you guys seen the movie? Uh, I think I talked about this before. Uh, Starship Troopers. Uh, I went to see like the screening. Had a survey at the end. Uh, they gave out surveys and you know asked like if you like the ending. If not, you know what would you between the, uh, the choices you, you had to select? It was crazy. Like because the the ending was whack. Everyone was like, oh man, what's up with that? And then. We watched it again just to see if they changed the endings, and they did. It was like more of a happy ending, and uh, yeah, it's like that was, okay. a, that was a dope movie, Starship Troopers. Star- yeah, yeah, man, like that's that's one of those uh, those not talked about classics, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, um, the main dude is supposed to be Filipino, man. Is that Rico or something? The, the white dude? Yeah, really? Yeah, they, they just swapped out an all American. He was supposed then, to be. Oh, oh, man. In the books, they, so they whitewashed him. Oh, man. Man. Gray Miles, you gotta, <laughs> gotta get <laughs> on him. That yeah. sucks, man. I remember that one chick. She was, nah, in, that was that was before my time. So yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll get I'll get him in another lifetime. <laughs> yeah, uh, I forgot one of the ladies. Or she was redhead. She was part of um, uh, Melrose Place. Oh snap! Remember That's, that chick? Yeah, I remember the sh- the, the show, but I don't remember the chick. Yeah, I got hyped because when I was, we were watching the movie, she like they're taking showers and shit. And uh, <laughs> show, show top of the scene was like those old eighties movie. Horses oh, style. I, I I did remember that. Oh, okay, so you and they had a little bit of nudity. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what's up. You oh man, nudity back in those days. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong. So, what are you guys' plans uh, this weekend, other than two uh, K? 2K all day. Oh, watching the Canelo Triple G. Oh, is it this weekend? This weekend. Yep. This Saturday. Yes, sir. I'll be hitting you guys up for a good uh, stream. Yeah, Alex yeah. is going to be on it. He, he already said. Like, can, can we get that stream, man? Get that stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
he 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 has some uh, good. Uh, he found some good ones. Yeah, like, he, but you know, they're in a different language. But who cares? Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that don't matter. Just turn it down. Or, yeah, just turn it down. It's just like matter. you're you're in the arena. Yeah, do your own commentary. Right. <laughs> now, Gray Miles, you went to uh, like to boxing events and MMA event UFCs. Right? Yeah, the, the last UFC I went to was when Connor. Oh, he beat Aldo. That was the last one I went to. Oh, oh really? Shoot. You were there? Yeah, I went on to that one, yeah. Oh, snap. When was that? Where was Aldo that one? McGregor. That was in Las Vegas. In oh, word. December of 2015? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, uh, in your opinion, what is more exciting, watching a boxing match or a UFC match? Uh, well, I went to the Pacquiao when he fought in Dallas. Yeah, I went to and that, that wasn't yeah. That wasn't very exciting. Which so. one did you go to? Grandma, the the Claudie fight. Claudie, yeah. Oh, that's the last. Yeah, yeah. We went to, we went to, <laughs> that was the last. We were there too. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, was, was like the check. everybody, all the Filipinos were in. Yeah, Texas. I think every Filipino <laughs> was was in that building. Yeah, yeah for real, right? Yeah. Man, so, cool. did you like that one? Like, so I would I would like say Boston. MMA is more exciting, in, in my opinion. Okay, I, I, need more, to go, I need to go to MMA. Yeah, me too. I need to go to MMA. I've, I've been to right. quite a few UFC events. They're pretty exciting. I mean, I guess it really all depends. Like, Yeah, it depends on, on, the, on the fighter, just, right? Like the hype. Yeah, because if, it, if it's like all decisions, it's, it's mad boring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if right. you finish the fight, it's actually pretty, pretty yeah. dope. What's cool about MMA is like, because kind of boxing, I mean, with boxing too, there's always that, you know, the one hit like stunner, you know, but with MMA, there, there's more like, moments where it's yeah, just like out of one. nowhere yeah. and like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so that's what's cool about MMA it sucks now like with these uh, champions there's really no true champions in boxing you mean or in, uh, in MMA I mean first like Ronda Rousey like oh man, she's unbeatable but yeah, yeah. yeah they're all a different off. sport though you know like you you have to expect to take L's in, in, in MMA yeah there's so many variables more well it, it yeah. sucks for MMA because like the one great fighter got busted for steroids yes yeah he's yeah. like jones the one like really yeah. great I, yeah dude. like i was and predicting then, john jones to you know pretty much go undefeated maybe for his whole career you know like sick man and, yeah. but like you know there's always going to be that, that that tarnish on his, his fighting style is so sick and his attributes like his oh yeah length, yeah, yeah. Like, his, his speed like for real it's hard to like you know overcome that dude that dude is a faster Anderson Silva, almost. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I always wanted to longer. see them fight. Would that be like a, a mismatch, oh, or like where now it would different, be different class? Now it would be, but I think Prime versus Prime would have been the dope yeah. fight. It's, man, I would. I love like man, like John Jones. Like he does his elbow, like yeah, turn around punches and stuff. Yeah, backhand. I don't, I don't. Yeah, the backhands. I don't see that with nobody. Like he really masters, the, you know, all yeah. the moves. Yeah, exactly, man. He's a he's and plus he's a you know he's from a gifted athlete. His brother was an NFL player, right? You know, I'm sure he was like I think the youngest, so he got probably picked on a lot, you know, with <laughs> right. his older football built brother. He's got you know uh, two brothers that play football. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Yeah. One yeah. of them is like offensive line. The other one is like a tight end, something like that, or maybe yeah. defense. I don't know. But yeah, he's got two brothers that play in the NFL. What if you seen like uh, you know some of these you know crazy athletes in in NFL like take on MMA? Like you know, yeah, like, man. Like you had like Ray Lewis in his prime, like, <laughs> <an> MMA, <player. laughs> or like I don't know. I don't know. Were you guys were you guys entertained with the Conor McGregor fight? I was, but you know, after the fifth round, I was like, okay, it's, I see where this is going. Yeah, you know, because I've seen Connor got gas out before, right? With uh, what's his name? Diaz. Yeah, and this is a longer yeah. match. I was like, ah, oh, snap! After the fifth, that's round. his weakness. Yeah, I was, I was giving Connor a puncher's chance, but it didn't happen. Oh, that's cool. But he, man, they built up that fight. Yeah, they they came home winning. <laughs> yeah, they all won. Man. So yeah, man, Mayweather. Made three hundred million, Connor a hundred million. Woo. One night. That's it. I don't think we'll ever see that again. Yeah, I don't. Probably know. not. No, probably yeah. not. There's nobody else uh, in MMA that could kind of draw that. I think to, to come over right. and build uh, that it, hype. Yeah. It's pretty much just. One. Yeah, it's just Connor that could do yeah. it. Yeah, that's a once in a million, once in a lifetime fight right there. Cross over, man. Yeah. 
I think that's uh, that's gonna do it for us this week, guys. All right, bye. Go pick up two K now. Cool, <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay, we out. Peace. Later. Yo. Baby, if they fight them, I was gonna rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. ever, 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 ever.